everyone. This is My Alcohol Free Life channel. My name is Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? And can you take another second and smash that like button? I'd really appreciate it. Man, oh man, it's hot today. It's about 38 degrees Fahrenheit, not Fahrenheit, Celsius at my off the grid cottage. That'd be about 85 degrees for my friends in the United States, about 85, 88 degrees. But in Ontario, it's really humid. There's a lot of moisture in the air. So man, oh man, is it ever hot. <laughs> off the grid cottage, no air conditioner, just heat. I'm gonna go for a swim after this. That's where I'm going swimming after this video. But I wanna thank you all for stopping by and watching my video. What this video is about today is an emergency fund. And you're gonna say, Terry G, why are you talking about emergency funds? Well, emergency funds are really important. When I first came into Alcoholics Anonymous, when I first came into recovery, I went to the business meeting and they talked about having a prudent reserve fund in the group bank account. And what that was is to help the group, if you know, attendance went down, the seventh tradition fell down, you know, got less, that the group could support itself for three months. And I thought that was a great idea because I've never had any money for an emergency. And I'm not talking about a savings account or a 401 account or an RRSP or a checking account. I'm talking about an account that is strictly for emergencies. Job loss, your car breaks down, you have to take an emergency flight, your air conditioner breaks down. There's a number of things that can happen that you need some quick money. And it's always nice that you don't have to reach for your credit card or go for your line of credit or ask somebody to loan money. Just last week, uh, we had a big storm up here a couple of weeks ago and it rained the other day and my roof has a leak. So it's a thousand bucks to fix it. So I was able just to go to that emergency fund and take that money out and give it to the gentleman to fix my roof. And that was a great feeling because I don't have to worry about it or pay for it or put it on credit card or go my line of credit. I just have an emergency fund. And the emergency fund for me is an account that I don't have access to or it's not easily accessible because if it was, I would just draw from it when my other accounts got low. I would just draw from it. This account is through my work, they can take an automatic debit out of your account, an automatic withdrawal of your payday, and they put it in to this account. It's in a credit union account. It's not affiliated with any of my other banking. It's just strictly for emergencies. It's strictly for emergencies. I put $150 in that account each and every month. And that's what I do. And it's their car, in case my car breaks down, whatever, whatever happens. It's there for a rainy day. So I actually, I actually have to get in my car, drive down, and withdraw the money manually. There's no, I don't have an ATM machine. There's no online banking. There's no credit card. There's no availability. I just have to drive there and it's about 15, 20 minutes from my house. So I've made it really hard to get to, but I know the money's there when I need it. And when I need it, I'll get take the effort and go and get it. And the amount of money that you put into that fund, you know, the more you put in is, is great, obviously. But for myself, at the beginning in early sobriety, I used to put like $20 in every two weeks. And that worked for me. It was $40. At the end of the year, it was about, you know, $600 I had in the account. It doesn't sound like a lot of money, but it is a lot of money when you need some money. So when my mom got sick and I needed to have some gas money and get a car and everything, that sort of situation, I was able to pay that person. I was actually to pay that bill right off the bat and go down and to the situation, see how my mother was doing. So I did have the money ready available. And at that time I had really bad credit. So having an emergency fund or a, you know, a fund, a prudent reserve that I could draw from really worked for me at that time. And that's how I learned over sobriety to continue that habit. And if you could put out like a small amount, I know some of us are suffering when it comes to money. And I did too in early sobriety, I was making minimum wage, I was living in a room, I didn't have much money, but I managed to put a little bit away each and every month. And that, that account worked, it really did. Nowadays, I have a decent job and I still do the same thing. Well, the, you know, minimum wage job is a decent job, but I make more money now. I'm a city bus driver and I'm able to put more money away for that reserve fund. And it really helps, it really, really helps. Like I said, make it an account that's really difficult for you to get to. Try and have an automatic withdrawal every month. It's not so important on the amount you do, it's more important on doing it. You'll get in the habit of saving money, you'll get in the habit of doing that. It's not a savings account, it's not a checkings account, it's not an RRSP, it's just an a rainy day account, prudent reserve or an emergency account. If 
if you're like me and you have you you have you suffer from mo emotional insecurity, financial insecurities, it's a really good thing to have. It really is. You always know that you have that little bit of money to fall back on in case something happens. It's, you know, I know it's about money, and I know money is an issue in sobriety. We don't talk a lot about it, but if you can put three months of your wages away for a rainy day, you're going to feel a lot better when that rainy day comes. You really will, okay? Try it. Like I said, it's not the amount, it's the consistency of doing it. Try it. Three months of emergency reserve money, you'll feel a lot better when those crises come up. I know we got a lot of financial responsibility as your sobriety grows. You might have a mortgage, car payments, insurance payments, whatever it may be. Have a little money there just to help you out on those off days. It will be a real blessing from the skies. It really will, okay? My name is Terry G. This is my Alcohol Free Life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you like my video, leave a comment below. If you don't like my video, leave a comment below. But can you all do me one favor? Can you please subscribe to my channel? I really appreciate it. And don't forget to smash that like button. Stay safe. Stay sober. And remember, together we are strong. Together we can get sobriety one day at a time. Ciao for now.